This year we've got a local artist from the Central Coast, Kathy. The work with, with Gabby has been just a wonderful experience. I've been very, very fortunate to be able to uh, share this with him. I've always been drawn to the Central Coast. I used to come up here as a child um, and roll down the skillion because uh, it used to be the thing to do before having a few fish and chips. So to create an artwork here is uh, really linked in with my playfulness and my joy and my childhood. A lot of the artwork this year we have, um, I guess, a theme of people connecting with people which has always been the theme of the Five Lands Walk, but um, I, I guess this, this year concentrated more on families and living together as family. And um, that's, I think, why um, it's the spirit of the people, basically. That would be the true theme of this year, the spirit of the people. Basically, I've started from uh, Masuri Emoto's image of a water crystal which is resonating with the thoughts of love and gratitude. From the central point of the crystal there are six points that are radiating out and they are linked with the earth, the air, the sky, the water and mother earth and father sky it's because I'm also interested in uh, American Indian beliefs and encompassing all that is in nature that makes up all living things. From these points, there are uh, five yellow circles, and the five yellow circles are the five communities of the five lands. And within that is white, which is, is basically communicating the spirits of all these people. That inner core that is the most beautiful light part of these people connecting uh, in this dance of joy, of connection and this cultural day that we're celebrating. All my work relates to stories that I see, stories that I might travel but also stories that other people are also travelling because I think we all resonate with something that is um, common uh, and that's why I find the water crystals a beautiful uh, theme to work with because water is what we're made up of, the majority of what we're made up of. All living things are made up of water and uh, whatever we think and we feel, we will vibrate with, with that, with our water, the water inside us and that's how we can communicate with the world at large. The Mimis are the spirit of the people and the centre part represents community coming together for celebration with the ocean symbol representing where we are on the Central Coast. The Mimis, they represent that spirit of the people. The Mimis are free and in Aboriginal culture Mimis are everywhere. Um, everything has a Mimi, a tree, a rock, a plant, an animal, including us. And so I put in the Mimis there to, to represent our connection to the earth of the land but also a representation of us um, how our true spirit inside us as people. Yeah. If Rembrandt uses a brush, I use a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> this mandala actually is a mandala with a traditional meaning in Aboriginal symbolism. It represents community coming together and celebrating with ceremony. And, and I think that really relates to Central Coast people as community coming together and celebrating the ceremony, the ceremony as in song, dance, art, we can relate to all those things as being a, a ceremony in a way of celebration. So that design is around that. The blue and white in the middle of the design represents the ocean and the place where we all live. And circles represent strength and it represents a symbol of people sitting face to face with each other and it's the way that Aboriginal people have sat in circles, you know, around campfires, around, um, it's a traditional symbol and a universal symbol, I suppose, in a lot of different uh, countries too that use the circle as, as that symbol too of strength and, and of um, people coming together. Yeah. The star at the top is actually um, linked in with both Gabby's and my story. So, the star is a malleable form of the six points 
of the crystal. It's malleable because the centre core is uh, blue, which is creativity, and it's what we can create by having a beautiful relationship of love and gratitude.